now it's just a four-man charge out, and they will run right into each other. Darion picking up right where he left off against Gen G. Takes out T with the Sheriff. Oh. Look at that, that's gonna be the slow already. T1's kind of caught into One the crossfire, and he can't really cross without getting tagged. Unfortunately for Carpe, he's gonna lose his life as... Where you may have to cut your losses if you can't get in and get the first kill right away. That zero point is gonna Ooh. deny the Sonic Sensor, but there's still a tripwire. It's gonna be a kill turn if they don't break it. It's a successful break from Saya. Stack's good for the trade. Stack's good for another as well. Excellent cover from the newcomer over on T1. Settling right in throughout stage two. Last now up to Zest standing. to Scary. Scary goes down. Zest all alone. Can't find a second kill in the round. T1 will take it. Crazy guy's gonna get forced back. Oof, that Dizzy's gonna give him uh, information that somebody is at least holding this angle. Zest though, stops any control coming out of Hookah. Here comes the blade, here comes the peak, and they're not really ready for Crazy Guy. You can already see that Hexgear was just having his iPad out, and that's gonna cost him his life. Two players remaining for T1. One, One more coming remaining. out through here, and it's only gonna be Carpe as he drops outside. Good first pick, 45 HP. Can he deal with Durian? Yes, he can. And it's all down to Carpe. Knows Crazy Guy's into the corner, but that slow, that stun is gonna just be now narrowing oh, yeah. the angles, knows that he has support. There's a Molly going out, Thrash denied as well, and a kill from Scary. The cover is just immaculate. Yeah, that's absolutely Watch true. Molly forcing out the TP as well. I think it was Carpe that actually broke the wall for them so that they can transition here a little bit quicker on, into the A site. Redless still holding an angle right now, does get all that information. The long range battle actually gonna make him lose that fight and allows T1 to access the A site once again. Gonna plan it on triple, left. but it's very bangable with the Vandal in the hand of uh, oh, Durion. Who just, uh, just absolutely delivers that showstopper. Only down now to Zest, two versus one. And he gets caught by Zest, uh, Stax. Yeah, Stax waiting. Be long, and the big question is, if they commit to this, he does have Annihilation up and running. Carpe, holding the flank, does get the kill on Retla. Yeah, it was just oh. a Cypher though, so he doesn't expect more than one. He tried to wait an extra second, but not long enough. So the flank still coming through. Crazy Guy is holding on to back sight, ready to pinch when needed. The firepower weak, but he's not going to be able to get the kill. Annihilation now gone, shut down. Orbital Strike available. Will oh. they use it? Tarion got a kill now. It's a 3v3. Yeah, they still have the Orbital Strike on both the Brimstones at this point. So that is going to delay things in terms of the defuse and maybe even the retake. We'll have to see how that kind of goes. As it's already been expended by x -Cura. Three versus three. They know that B-Long is going to be a bit of a problem here. Smoke's still available for them, but that is in the line of sight of Stacks. And the Molly's delaying them just long enough. Scary might be thinking about using his orbital strike here just for the timing oh, of wow. the spike. Darion gets one cover as well. They're not quite way. sure if it's going to be stuck all the way through, and it will Scary complete with the bodyguarding as well. What a nice threat. He chose to destroy all the traps. Is it going to be good for most of it? And no, it's not going to be good for any. They will get the Sonic Sensor disabled with the zero point, and he's all the way over the truck. Welcome Even with the Nerd Blast Max, oh. he's able to make it. Rutla just not taking the first shot actually allows he's to live over lamps. He thought that was Nerd on for a second there. He just kind of lagged a little yeah, I bit. I think so. <laughs> yeah, in any case, though, that is a great catch. They had to go very aggressive with Izu. He just had to play either he dies or he gets that map control or both. And right now, it is best of both worlds. He still survives, so he still is that credible threat that is holding uh, somewhere on lamps alongside Carpe. While Zess is trying to go clear it out himself, he's going to have to be going into the crossfire right here where he could lose his life down to 66. Rest of bleed now closing in. The fuse is happening. Question is, can they delay it? He's actually just going straight for it. Stacks though has the mindset to at least clear it out. Zest very low. Smoke should be going down. And can he find him through the smoke? Yes, he does. Durian gets the shot off, but the fuse actually comes through. Will come through. Sure, a trap will delay it ever so slightly, but not for now. Oh, crazy guy's gonna be in a world of hurt. Yeah, two versus one. Scary. He wants a piece of the buy, but he's about to go. Oh! No! He's not the one going down. They're the ones. There. 10 HP, two kills, and they're still not done. Up now, watching four showers. Darion's gonna miss it a bit, but it's not gonna matter too much as the rest of the team will be able to get the pinch over from Lamps. Now the post plan positioning in a bit of danger from T1. They still have a crossfire, but it's so few members, not anymore as Bleed just continue to hit shot after shot. A chance. Over there. T1, they will break the early barrier mesh. Gets taken down immediately. That's a good little move. The Warbler Strike just to clear out the site. Zest is going to get traded by Carpe, one for one, but no raise on the side of T1. So they need to make sure they take the space right now. Split up with the Orbital Strike. Can Saya player get the kill and get out with the spike? He's just going to be hiding in the smoke. And Spike now sent out with Wingman. 
Yeah. Wow, Red Lasher gets a pick from the back of the site. Will get refragged by Saya player. Durion is here with the operator. Crazy guy comes around the corner, down to two bullets. Can he hit the shot? Not gonna be the case. Durion by himself. Can isolate a fight before he gets the refrag, but no, not gonna happen as Science shuts him down. Just Nothing to draw no more yikes. time. Yeah. A little <laughs> bit of a miss. That one's, it's so tricky. I love it, but it is very tricky. But yeah. at the end of the day, it gets the job oh. done. Just trying to delay, and Darion's able to re-clear it afterwards. A nice one-two punch against two T1 members. Izu gets through, and Stax <laughs> immediately swings off of it. Good timing, but the baby. spike gets stranded and short. Stax, he's just going to have to run in and win the duels. So he isn't going to have time to be able to plan it safely. Will oh, they no. give him an opportunity? They will, and Scary will actually win out in that fight. Yeah. Find some nice shots, though. Yeah. I believe there is a yeah, heal from Zest here, so they can re-encapsulate a little bit, but this is a challenge. Enemy down. Stax and Escurid will be able to hold it off for a little bit as they Once wait the for Stax to help it out as well. That is going to be the stop of the push and so much committed uh, smokes right now. So maybe the call right here for Bleed is to start rotating the round. But the big problem is if they do go for that TP, you can see the Carpe's already creeped up on a short. Yeah, the TP is going to be a full risk. They did have 50 seconds, so they could have slow walked it back through a short, but they're just going to say, hey, we've walled it off over in the back of sight, so we know that they can't fully be stacked up there. Left. Just going to check the close oh, angles, oh, waiting for the trade. Scary not standing. able to get it immediately. Down, that B. will just be T1 looking to close out the round. Retla not finding the headshot. It's going to go in terms of the offense. Sure, they have some setups that can, you know, clear out some people at the back of the site, but then, yeah, in terms of speed, and just straight up firepower, it's kind of evenly mashed. So things like that with stacks is going to be quite difficult for Bleed to overcome if they're not really uh, aware of it. Yeah, that was a bit of an aggressive play there from Bleed. I mean, not one that's necessary, but I think maybe also just trying it out since they do still have a bit of a four round lead here in the second half. Normally, if anyone's thinking, oh, okay, Izu just finds the knees and goes right for the wall bang. Uh, but normally, if anyone's going to be taking dry contact here from the bleed side on the attack, it's going to be the Cypher on a timing, right? Going for yeah. that Lurk, opening up the site a bit more, and then you start to inch forward. Uh, now, earlier already on the pistol, we saw one of their lineup to try to regain information on B, which is exactly what's happening. T1's not going to commit to the rotate, but they are spread out. And now bleed scary a nice jiggle out. It's a three-man push in from Shower Stacks. Realizes it's too many targets, and there's wow. the push in from Crazy Guy. Close range with the Stinger. What a call from Bleed Esports to get the spike planet. Still not clear just yet. 3v2. Yeah, oh, oh, I mean, the timing is executed. Whips out the molly. Only down to Cyan player into the corner. Oh. Hit by the sensor. And there is no chance he's going to be able to win the 1v1 against Crazy Guy. Well, coming out of uh, market here. So they have to wait for someone from left. T1 to actually peek out. And those in the front of the site are actually in trouble right now yeah. because, yeah, look at this. They're, They're trying to draw out all the utilities, but here's the thing. T1 has no reason to leave because Excurit's already pushed out of B as well. So T1, even without a Sentinel, now they have full seconds. information that it's going to be an A hit that Bleed has to commit. The Thrash comes in as well just to try to stop it. There's a Blast oh, no. to push him off. He still has to stick it, but his teammates are all falling around him. Oh, He's not going to oh, get no. it, and Izu finds the kill onto the Spike Planter. And T1 will clean house. Darion, the only one. Time being Annihilation just to try to buy space, but there's the overall strike. It splits him up. A TP spent as well, but Darion's already way deeper than T1 expected. Stax finally stabilizes. Red Light needs to win that fight, and he does right on a dime. Turns and gets easy, gets control of showers. That is post plant I control for Bleed. Oh, no. As Scary cleans up one part of the backup as well. Only two members now left alive for T1. Yeah, this is falling apart. Uh, for T1. They can actually go for the play right now, even though it's a four versus two. They have the money to buy up into that next round. Wall, not perfectly placed, so they can have some access for Excrete to start going in onto Lamps. Saya player, great, good catch at remaining. Zest. Retla does find Saya player, though. Excrete slowly creeping in, but that is such a difficult setup to deal with. You do, he is going to step forward oh, on the truck, but he's caught behind. He's oh, now oh, stuck, oh. and he's now crouched down. He's pinned. The flash just buying him enough time. The Orbital Strike just trying to clear too much space to bleed. They might have gotten too greedy here with the util. That's true. He was blinded very much. So Durian could not uh, get any form of value with his ultimate whatsoever. And Carpe wins the shower duel as well. Stacks holding the back of the site, and the call for bleed is to just rummage out of A and start going in for B. Excrete, though. Waiting underneath. 
The drop down, the kill, the double, could be the triple. And x is holding on. Side player does help him out, but that is a solid round for T1 nonetheless. So it's just going to be a paint shell. They uh -oh. have the blast back in, and they chase him. The timing is so good, and this is what you have to watch out for. It's a lot tougher than other Uto lineups because you have to strike right as the grab net lands, whether it's Uto, whether it's a peak. And it was perfect. Oh, from whoa, okay. lead. Secure gets a nice shot as well. Sure, but they can't really push through this because of the wall just blocking their faces as they no peek out. But bleed, they might be going a little bit too deep into things. And they are getting punished ever so slightly. Now it's a numbers advantage for T1. Time is still in their favor. Scary holding on as he starts to reposition alongside Retla here. The rest of T1 now exiting outside of the back of the site. It's going to be quite difficult. Scary just cannot find that first pick. And Retla cannot get back into cover. He will get shut down by x -Grid and T1 pick up another. Yeah, Retla would have loved to have just... Seekers will be used, that will give information that Short is exposed still. Durion just jumping up on top of Bench, gets the catch onto x -Grid. so it's an even 4 versus 4 as the round continues. Durion's very deep, so Carpe doesn't want to risk it, wants to just wait oh, until the back of her eyes. Thrash comes out, pushes Durion all the way away. There's a Tane onto the spike, he gets taken spike down, down Zest down, a. spike stranded, Mosh being thrown, oh, Rentla gets spammed, and Bleed once again last stuck last here on the day. site! There's no exit! Darion down, scary, the last one alive, full health and armor, but just a molly and his Vandal to trust. Yeah, he's already committed all of his smokes as well. This is the last one right in front of him. Gets spotted by the jump spot, and stun from the wingman will seal his fate, and we are double fragment out as well. Perfectly placed at the entrance. I mean, there's no hiding this, but Zest will get the kill, which might be the opening they look for at Mosh Pit. Now Molly as well, followed up, completely slows him down. It's just gonna be a blind teleport, and now having to take contact one by one. Single snake left. bite still available for Carpe. Slows him down. The operator's here. Oh, and the spike drop trapped again. Annihilation pushes him back, but they can't get into the site. Yeah, lovely use on that uh, blast pack. And Scary just cannot find any form of recourse here. Retla attacking under the site, but it's a game of peekaboo that left. he is just at a dis of this push and not cascading it. Stax is about to. Get that information. Oh no, what a shot from Cyflare. There's the Melka Man already. The wall comes out, but look at that flash from here from the Dizzy. This go. is just allowing T1 to clear up every single player of Bleed. Molly again. And this is just, this is horrible for Bleed. They can't push into the site anymore. I mean, this is like the most left. ideal round that T1 would have wanted with their composition, right? You get the double flash, you get the delays with the AoE, and Scary can't oh, land no. the first shot. It's Crazy Guy going down to the wall bank. And T1! Eligible roll, which is the initiator, which is always going to be great. Now the retake comes in. Fault line doesn't really stop anything, and Izu could not get the pick onto Durion here. Claps back, but down to 10. Can't really push too much. And it is just going to be seeing how far T1 can press back into the site. Back to the site is going to get Scary caught out, and Crazy Guys just by himself. Does have a recon dart to maybe stop the plan from happening, but there's still two players right in front of him. Saya player will get the catch, and that is T1. The frags to come in swiftly from ble uh, for Bleed. Izu quick to whip out the Sheriff once again. The Pain Shells gets a kill as well, and it's just a giant mess here in Rubble as Bleed trying to force the fight, not finding the result they wanted. And during all this T1, Saya player has pushed out of C Mound entirely outside of Mound, so the map now cut in half. T1 knows 100% that Bleed are still stuck okay. here on the A side. Stack's not finding the kill. He just loves to go for that one. It does at least garnered the attention of Bleed here, so you can see that Izu might have found access to the back of the site if this shot there comes in. Oh, oh my god, what a <laughs> flick from Izu. Okay, two versus two. Still right. very expensive for Bleed. Yeah, I mean, already quite Five a planted. real loss here for Bleed, oh, and now no. it's getting just beyond that. It's already a bit of a loss here for Bleed. Scary has to clutch up for the silver lining. Carpe trying to get information. They've already snuck Saya player all the way through a tree. Scary, he's wary of it because of the door. Sounds on both sides, but Carpe has crossed. Scary tracks the a footsteps, weapon. waiting for the peaks. He's calling their bluff, trying to find it. He finds the first kill. Saya's weak as well. And the swing out. Scary's ready for it. The triple for the clutch. Are still here. That being said, Izu does have his... Wits about him. I was his showstopper, but you know what? If he can wall bang like that, he doesn't need to use it. Yeah, just here's the drone and accurately pinpoint wall bang onto him. Fake. Yeah, from the shadows, just faked out. 
And Excurit now still fishing for information. This one way is going to make this rotate a lot slower from Blee. The fault line should give a bit of a heads up for T1, but they're still not going to bite onto it just yet. They don't have complete information. Shadows T1, traveling. they will happily wait as they Ooh. still have that showstopper for a retake. Yeah, that paranoia is going to make it substantially difficult to push in left. into the seaside if they wanted to do so. Open the door, but I mean, there's a. Tr okay, no, no. Side player's down, so they can at least try to do something. But that snake bite's going to delay. 19 seconds, they slowly creep in. Paranoia though, but One look at the contact remaining. coming in for both Carpe Spice and teammate. Down, Spice already been dropped down. Scary sure is going to be able to fight back a little bit, but then come left. to the side is going to be extra throwing out his own paranoia. No more time left, and that's going to be Bleak conceding this one. Bye. The snipe. Jarion uh, still going for the challenges. Oh, wow. He'll actually get both kills down to one HP. But mission successful. Opening up the site. He even gets a one third. What a reaction off of the double swing. Sure, Carpe gets the posthumous death, or the kill rather, with the snake bite. But it's too late. Now the outlaw. Everybody one shot from it. You could see Saya return to his old form. He's going to check behind the box. He gets the first one. It's a headshot just to guarantee it. Two remaining members. Not a full health on either one. Not full armor on either one. Saya, oh, teleport. Now hoping he has a chance. Just gonna try to spam through. See if he can get it. Switches out to the headhunter. Fishing for it, but they're above and beyond. That's true. They are spotting, spotting Retla. Somewhere bottom of the sea site. He still have to just try to run away or else that nano swarm is gonna get some value, which it kind of does. One detain as well. Saya player just cannot find any success with his Tour de Force here. He's popped two shots through the smoke just to maybe fish a, a kill or whatnot, but it is not going to be possible. The Nightmare will hold him off. So much decay. It's an easy kill for Excurit. Darion's still through. He has to open things up. For his teammates, he gets the double. He was ready for the triple. He will not be given the opportunity as Izu comes out, but he can't find left. the shots of the members that are trademarked. That's the Darion special for you. Saya player now has to just see the remains of his teammates on that B site. If he tries to go to see here with the op, I don't know how he's going to be able to isolate a couple of kills here. Maybe a wall bang if he can. Planted. Durian. Oh, yeah, there was a smoke just, you know, kind of yeah. covering his angle there. So, Saya, he's. I don't know if he's feeling lucky here. He does have a headhunter to kind of follow up with uh, shots, but fire back. But look at this crossfire left. between Izu, Carpe, and, and even Sai player who's going for that long angle right now. Saya's going to show himself first, but look at that clear on to Izu. Step in the right direction right now for them. Carpe's around the corner. Backs away into the wall. 15 seconds. They are making this very workable. And it's going to be very close. Oh, what a shot from Saya player. And play, uh, Zest. He's actually down. The yeah. paranoid hits. Woo. Gets blinded to this A site at all. Especially when they have so many stuns and everything. And speaking of which, look at that paranoia. The conversion for Jury. It's only going to be good for the one. Stacks held him out, but. This backside is going to be bleed. Stacks, though, what heroics as he stops the push coming in from AMA. This lowers the numbers of bleed, but they are still holding on to the side. Two versus two. Stacks and Saya player. Operator in hand. He's waiting. Oh, is he going to get scary here? <gasps> I mean, Saya's waiting planted. for it. Scary's wary of it oh. as well with just an inch. And Saya finds it. Stacks takes down his old teammate to clear out one side. He spots him two, but he's not able to finish up either. Oh, 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 oh. Izu holds the trigger. Blocks the entire flood in. Oh. Oh. He holds on to the site alongside Carpe. Okay. Scary. I One versus four. He has his <laughs> ultimate. If he could, he's probably waiting for his smoke first, right? No. Maybe get the get the spike and then TP to C. It's, I, I mean, listen, it's it, three it's sites. Hopeful. You're I right. Know. He has his ult. I mean, yeah. deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost been a year. It's just in time. <laughs> we'll see. Scary has plenty of time just to work each angle one by one. Yeah. But like you said, the real question is, can you get the spike? I mean, Excurit, his eyes are trained on it. There it is, second smoke. Available. How does he do it? He's not going to see anyone over on Heaven. 30 seconds left. He's just going to look for that one opportunity to try to get the spike. TP out. Seconds. Oh, he's going to push up off of the smoke. Just He wants to dwindle the numbers down as much as possible. He's going to be ready for it. No, it's too wide. Scary, oh, just no. holds it close, but they're already in the smoke. He's ready for it, but they swing out as soon as they hear the jumps. No time to ball about that as the showstopper comes through. He tracks the neon. He waits.
waits for the slide. Spike the patience from Izu. Oh, bleed. Every single choice they made, it all falls apart. Scary now traps. Gets her back right through the smoke. Trying to fish for the kill on Izu. He gets it somehow. Okay. What is this game? I was about to say it runs in the T1 family, but I guess it just runs in this entire game. How good they are at just tracking, tracking these shots. Lockdown no. available. T1, I mean, they're going to have to give it up. They already left. have the flank covered. They are already holding on to A. Connect, oh, but Rathlon no gets Enemy the kill. Lighting. Carpe just barely staying alive. The smoke comes out. Rathlon's through it. I got the spike. Clears the sight. A 1v1 alarm bot down. Carpe is going to get spotted. He's trying to walk through it. The Nano Swarm pops just for time as well. Planted. He could go for heaven, but he wants to go for this straight up fight. Redless got a position. Yeah, what a he spot. gets the shot. <laughs> Woo. Oh, the no. open spots. Toxic now, now though, with the Toxic screen up. Okay, if they get this go, well, actually, it might not even matter. Carpe stays alive. This is perfect for Saya player, by the way. This completely sells the dig all the way deep into enemy territory. Yep. See if Saya's ready for it. Here's the footsteps on the minimap. Meanwhile, Carpe's just trying to keep them distracted for the main force to come through. Saya lets one pass. He gets the kill. He, he hears the second footsteps. Ready for it. They want to go for the double swing. There's the slide. Oh. He cannot track it all the way. Oh, man. And this is four players to the two of bleed. This is not looking too good. And you're absolutely right. They were able to sell that uh, that push through by Saya player. Now, Durian and Retla using this wall to inch ever so closely to Rubble just to see if anybody's there. But no, all players of T1 now nestled in to this A site. They might realize this as Durian is coming around the corner right now. Retla oh, does not win standing. that fight against Izu and it's all down to the... Oh, can he do it? Oh, first shot in. Go. Two versus one. Dashes right through. Gets the first contact. Does not have a stun. Has to deal with stacks. Blind and dry contact. Gonna lose it. Super aggressive from Durian charging in. Oh, oh wow. Oh, okay. They're outnumbered. And now all the guns from T1 actually down. just backfiring right in front of them. Last it's all down to side player. Two versus one. Or three versus one, rather. The multi peak. And he's oh. able to almost get it, but not enough HP. Even brings out the showstopper. Unfortunately, can't get to the higher level of C here. And crazy guy. Odin spam, two kills right now. Not even needing to see anybody. That's what you want to. Uh, that's what you want to see from him. Yeah, well, Izu all the way deep in now. Bleed has to be quite aware of this, but not the exact position. So you see them suspecting something fishy around waterfall. So they will go all the way around C mound. T1 looking to defend in this post plant. The seas just to buy time. It is going to be able to separate Darion. Oh no. But Stax cannot survive. He wants to try to reposition to a craftier position, but won't find the opening. Now more members coming through. Zest is starting on the pinch all the way through Waterfall. It's a double swing, but the spacing not quite good enough. Oh! But crazy guy with the ace. Constant. Aftershock used this wall. This is not going to get broken. I mean, uh, I mean the lockdown. So they have to at least try to play Greedy, from the looks of it, Izu's just committing to that one, so he will fall down. x is going to hold the site at the back by himself, leaving the three players. T1 here on mount. It actually pays off as he gets two. Carpe gets another one as well. And this is working gloriously for T1. No one's defeating this fight just yet. It's on default, so any mount spammers can find him. But Scary fires back, and look at this. Carpe feeds off of that information. A couple of kills here with the paranoia set in front of him. Oh, boy. Oh, he might have actually had to need to use this paranoia there. Yeah, just trusting too much in the fault line, but Seth's yeah. still alive using the flash to try to get another opening, but he's decayed. It's just too tough. He's been tethered. And now down to a 3v3. Now bleed. They have already made the rotation, and there isn't too much time for T1. The Prowler, oh, oh. the run and gun spray finds the head of Saya player. Left. And now two members of T1 Trap in tree. Oh, nice swing out across the relay boat. Keeps him trapped, and it's a nice pitch from Bretla. The teamwork, the timing, it's all there for Bleed. Not sure if they completely read through this, but they throw their own fake on to see, and they're ready to break through this. The Nana Swarm pops, a Larbot gets destroyed as well. Killjoy oh, now know. down, and he's just trapped in tree. Darion gets pinched, but Scary here on the back of is good for two. He might even oh, get yeah. the third off the aftershock. He waits patiently for it, but it's just too late as T1 are able to bulldoze through the site. Four? Oh That's my gosh, the full set on the fake as well. The Prowler and then the From the Shadows from T1. What a call, Showstopper used for insurance. 
You oh. are no okay. He gets taken down, so that's both ultimates now gone. Showstopper taken out, and it was the pit that was taken down as well from Carpe earlier. They can't rotate. Yeah, the fake now biting them in the butt. Hunter oh, no. Shuri comes out and the aftershock as well. You have to enter or empty that site entirely. Timing now down to 10, ten seconds. The seas just to keep Darian at bay, the, so the spike Ooh. will go down. And Saya player, he's wrapping around. Can he get there in time? The recon comes out, Sax destroys it. T1, if they can just oh, hold oh, no. on player until Saya gets there, but it's too late. He gets one kill, but he's been spotted only good for two and bleed. Darion just choosing to survive, but he is absolutely trapped and blinded. But everyone else is covered as well. He gains so much space, Excurit, good for the traits, but so is Saya player. Zest good for a double. A. It is just Zest all across rubble Deploying as we go down to a 2v two rifles recovered for T1. Okay, drone has been used as well from Crazy Guy, so no push just yet. Does not spot the two of them. Side player and teammate coming in through A. Redless holding the doorway oh. here, and he's got a good position, but he second guesses and thought that he might be a B push. Still, he does have the safety of that turret if they try to push in through this B site. So what is the choice Face right now? Fear. Crazy Guy will get hit by the Nightfall, then traces it back. Might be a kill here, but no. You just see side players slowly creeping into the side to jump up, and that's the catch that they needed. Yeah, a bit risky, especially against the likes of Saya player also. Not going to have the knife out for that extra speed either on that jump. So now a 1v2. C1 did use the Nightfall, so bleed. They're already okay with that. But we'll see. Redla, he's done it before. He gets a nice kill onto Saya player. Unbeknownst, and he stacks is too low. Redla spams him down through the wall, forces him out in the open. And that's the second clutch of the map for Retla. He cannot stop this. Yeah, they're already all the way through, but Saya's gonna be good for two kills. Now down to Ooh. six HP, still holding on. So they are aware of Crazy Guy, all the way in defender spawn as well. He'll eventually get the kill with the shock dart. It was a necessary one, but Izu now swings out. T1, they continue to get low, but they're still going out with a bang as they trade and keep the number advantage. Now 2v3 for Bleed on the retake. Crazy guy, he's trying to scout it out, buying time for Scary to come in with the kills. He gets one through the wall, man. Crazy guy gets the swing. They know he's back in Boathouse and stacks. Jiggles it. Scary trying to stick the half. Is he ready for the swing out? He is, but stacks just peeks in. And Scary's watching for the backup flood as well. Crazy guy starts to spam, but he's been full flash. He's been spotted and he's not as hidden as he thinks he is. Retla all oh. alone. Backup, not able to get in, but he still gets the double through the spam. And now Bleed trying to flood through. Darion even sings out to a 2v2. Oh, yeah. Smoke, Darion, good for it. Dashes forward and he swings right back out. The confidence. No, I think he's going to wait for his stacks. Yeah. Oh, no, he's going to do it himself. Oh, wow, okay. He actually goes out for the peak. So now the double play gone. The paranoia will try to keep oh, Scary alive, but he's been pinged. Carpe waits for it. Gets the pre-fire. Darian now spouted alone, but he gets one kill. He's trying to wait for the wraparound. Can't quite adjust in time. The spam is able to track it. Scary all the way through, and then there's a spray from Retla. Down to a 1v1. How does this happen every round between these Crazy two guy? teams? Crazy guy Five has two shock shot darts. Shot. He's gonna use one just to try to funnel him, and he spots him. To get the spam through the wall, trying to just make him weaker, and he does, but Stax will hold his ground and land the head. It's gonna be the counter Hunter's Fury. Carpe having that available, and Isu's holding close. That's good for the trade. Darion finds a nice angle against Saya player. Now they've got the angles covered. Darion, if they try to go for the defuse, though, it's gonna be a tough one. If they try oh, no. to bait out the peak, but it's just too far. Darion has to swivel too much to dodge away from that flash. And Zest now all alone caught him between two members of T1. He knows exactly where they are, but he just cannot find the fight that he wants. One they won't give it to him. Main. Stacks finally answering the call. Zest makes it a 1v1. So Does he have enough time? Draws out the shock oh, dart, no. but Carpe knows that he hasn't stuck it. So it's just going to be the up save, and Carpe denies it. He flashes first. They check on line just in case. Shocker does not connect onto Zest, but here comes the push coming out from T1. But this is a little bit too dry in the contact, and there is so much response from Bleed. Nice little fragment does get the kill onto Zest. Smoke comes out right in front of their faces, and they have to push this through. Somehow works. Stax gets two. Retla. Oh, no bullets. This is bad. One versus two. Stax again in a very difficult situation. Has to reload, also tagged by everything. 13 seconds, and they're not really, really giving him any time Ten to move. Left. He wants to go for the fight. The Nanoswarm keeps him 
stops it from coming into the safer spot to plant the spike, and he had to go for the challenge. Just gonna be a recon, and it spots stacks, and they actually hear the gunshots from Excurant as well, so that's gonna be the crossfire given up. The T1, they will just have to just rush through using the Cloud Burst, and it is just an absolute flood, but stacks, where are you going with the spike? He drops it over by window, tries to get way too deep, and Bleed are able to just take the site right back into their hands. At the back of the site, there's only Redla on the first contact, but they still have so much more at the back to play around. They've hidden themselves. I love this timing. They can hear oh? that refrag. He's not going to know about it, but Redla, or rather Izu, is such a boss. That 3k was so important. Side player coming in as well. Durian able to get the first pick. Can he get the swing oh! onto that one? What an absolutely mental shot onto Excurate. This is still somehow doable for him. He cannot reposition his stacks, gets that refrag. Yeah, then you've got an alarm bot and a nano swarm to still delay them as well. So Crazy Guy has all the time to go for the spam. Yeah. He gets one. Actually, the turret going to finish the last kill. Oh. Gets extra damage onto Izu as well. You've still got Retla here for the crossfire. Oh. Sure, the lockdown comes out. It is going to be the Nana Swarms to push him away. But it's going to be Retla who just swings on it. Finds a kill onto Izu. Okay. Oh, but does, is this going to allow him to get access into the site? Looks like, oh! On their extra firepower to get in, you do have the Blade Storms once again for Darion. And oh my gosh, Crazy Guy almost actually tracks onto him. The Stinger not working at long range for side players, so it's a one for one trade, but Darion not able to find the shots immediately. Picks the op back up, wants to just keep them corralled while this lockdown goes through. Now a lot of time has already passed. Oh. So time is ticking. Izu just waiting. He just wants to stop them before they get in. Detain or not, he will keep them oh, at base, but it's two kills. What? They destroyed it, but they're detained? Yeah, Excurit's just under the site, and Carpe, if he can get the kill, only half done, no time. And it's enough. They've all been steadied, but Darion's already in. I'm not sure if T1's aware of this. Spending a lot of time trying to scout things out. Five Eventually, down, Bleed B. will clean up the entire site. Crazy guy hidden in the cubby, hoping left. to get Spike a purple planted. kill. We'll see how this goes. He does have the kind of set up crossfire with his teammate there, but does fall down to Saya player. Popping shots through the smoke. Could have gotten onto Retla, who was having that off angle nearby. About to go for the peak, and he does get the first one. Saya player is still alive. Trying to hit the shots, but not going to connect. Great shots all together. All left in the hands of Durian. Very capable hands, but Saya player with the sick flick. Hitting the 3k and the round for T1. Not sure if they would have actually Ooh. maybe recognized it and missed all the chaos as Izu. A nice fadeaway headshot. On B as well, and T1 just winning on all fronts. They'll keep them at bay. Now Excurit finally, having been backed off. Still holding close. Oh my god. Oh, oh. playing with fire is Zest, and he wins. Douses it right at A main. Still makes his way through the site. Everybody else on the B side dropped on bleed, but the spike will get planted on A. That's true, but this is upgrades for T1 as well on this retake as they got two kills on B main. You can already see Carpe and Izu on the rifles themselves. They're slowly creeping up onto A short. I do like this because if they break down that doorway and uh, Bleed are separated, they could at least have a nice little pinch play. But that being said though, Bleed doubling up here nearby on Hell. The smoke to separate outside play with the rest of the team, but they will be coming in Cover in just out. a matter of seconds. Yeah, you do have the paranoia, you have the flash drive, so you have ways to delay, but that means one of you will have util out. There's the dash in. They have to take him out as soon as possible, but it's just too much time. They can't find the oh, target. Zest has to get all the shots, but they're not giving him the defuser. He finds the elbow, he gets the spray, and he lands the headshot! Cleans house against T1! See if that's enough. But side player, he holds his ground. He's not gonna land the first shot. There's a dash in. Excure it now. Paranoia. He is stuck behind quad, but there's support from side player. And now Snacks coming in as well. Excure it goes down eventually, but Snacks is there. Cleans up the entry. Now Retla all alone. <laughs> a snappy shot mid here to at least stop any kind of rotation from T1. If he gets this contact again, Saya player, this might actually allow them to go rotate the other end. Excret now trying to push through here, as, or rather uh, they are trying to push against Excret here, but with his sniper in hand, it might be a tad bit difficult. Yeah, but it is that outlaw, so you know that you have an opportunity. He has to go for the reload. He's already fired two shots. But with that, the lockdown is going to shove him out. Only 20 seconds. Bleed have to sprint through the Odin. Can they get past it? The headshot already digged. Darion, how do you do that? He weaves right in PNG. The bullets, the Matrix, working in his favor. Oh! Stacks doing the exact same thing. Looking through his mind's eye. Darion gets four kills. Does he have time? No, it's past the four second mark. And Izu is nowhere to be found as T1 
goes to match point. Two members pinged. There's the shrouded step, but you know the distance. He's been tagged, and Excurit goes down. Sight somewhat weaker, but the fragment will keep them at bay. Stacks once again successful in buying enough time for his teammates. Now you hear the Odin as well. Darion, he's already in, but they line up. Corpy finds the angle. He was looking for one. He gets another for free. Retla now trying to get the wrap around the operator. Spots one, but Retla's there for the train. Oh, the scope is not fast standing. enough. Ooh. As Zest gets the spam, the turret. Izu gets ahead of it, and he cannot find the kill. Bleed, and Izu will just wait. As T1 stacks, finds a long range kill with the Sheriff. Evening out the firepower just a bit. Two rifles to three, but four members to three in favor of T1. The Nanosaur oh. popped, and Izu, a nice jiggle shot. Oh no. Clean and now Darion oh, and Xcurit's Spike. been waiting for him. The paranoia goes out, but scary. He is all alone from the shadows, not available. The mind games will not come through. It's a straight 1v4 for the tie talent. 30 oh, no. seconds left. Shadows Last tablet. player. He standing. has a smoke to maybe find a little bit of access into that site, but it's getting delayed. It's getting burnt out because of the util that you saw. Drone as well. First little contact onto Stacks is going to be good, but that smoke actually stops dead and distracts. 13 seconds left, and he still has a 3 versus 1. He still has a pick up the spike, and he will fall down to Excurrent as T1 win this series 2 to 1.